Hola, y'all. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. My name is Elle, and this is my perspective. So today, y'all, it's going to be story time. I know most people will not share these things about themselves, but they ain't me. So I'm going to give you right off the bat, like, I want you to learn from me and learn from my issues and mishaps and whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> like, learn from me. Laugh with me. You can even laugh at me. So I'm going to tell you this, and then we're going to get into the story. When you come to Mexico, I know about Merida, but when you come to Mexico, the Yucatan, Merida, I'll just, we'll just say Merida, then have these things on you. Pesos, like the coins, have those on you. Moneda, have, those, have, have coins on you and have toilet paper on you. The coins, I've always had the coins on me because every time you go somewhere, especially when I first got here, I was in a hotel and you, you tip people. Like you're always tipping people, always tipping people. And so you want to be able to reach and give them some coins to tip them. So that is numero uno. The other thing that I would like for you to know by the way, y'all, this, my hair, I got the fan on. I'm sitting right up underneath the fan, especially because I got both of these lights on. Um, the other thing that I really want you to know is toilet paper. So I had heard about the toilet situations and that you do pay to use the bathroom and that type of situation this this. So I had gone to Progresso. And when I went to Progresso, I was having this wonderful conversation with this shop owner man. And I felt like instead of just having a conversation, I should get something. So I got a drink. I got an aqua fresca. And so the aqua fresca was amazing. And it was like a liter, I think is what it was. And so it was a lot of it as well. But it was hot and hot. It was, it was hot and hot, but it was, it was a lot of drink. And so... We got to a certain part and I, I just wanted to be done with it. So I chugged it. And so after I chugged it, then I went into like their market area place and I didn't see anything. So I came back out and it's time to go. Like I'm done with Progresso and I'm coming back and there was a bus that was there, but it was already kind of full already. So I was like, mm, just wait for the next bus buses by the way it was like a little tiny bit over a dollar each way so there the bus is fine the bus i didn't have an issue with the bus um yeah nothing anyway so i was like okay i'll just wait for the next bus and so i sit down and as i sit down my stomach started gurgling and churning and everything and i was like it was that agua fresca y'all it was it was that it was that drink like i'm my stomach is really sensitive to just about everything. This is TMI, so I'm about to say it anyway. But being here in Medida, I have thrown up and had the shits more than any other time in my life. Like there was one point where it was like, I'm at least, I'm, I felt like I was throwing up at least three times a month. I've calmed down a lot, like a lot. But it's like these foods, different foods would not set with me. Something was not, not right, whatever the case is, but it's it's calmed down a whole, whole lot. And I'm so glad my stomach is glad. My Okay, anyway. So yeah, my stomach was just like churn, churn, churn. And I was like, I don't, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to make a bus. I'm not gonna be able to get on a bus like this. What's, what's going on? Let me just, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the bathroom. So to go to the bathroom, it costs five pesos. So I give her the five pesos. Y'all, I've never been to a public bathroom except the one at the airport in Cancun because I don't use public bathrooms, but I had the, the bubble guts, right? And so I was just like, I can't get on the bus. I'm not going to make it back to Merida. Like I'm, I'm not. So I go and I give her the five pesos thinking, okay, well, I just go into the bathroom. No, she hands me these three little strips. That was the toilet paper. Like they hand you the toilet paper. And I was like, what am I going to do with this? Y'all, I don't have any, I, I'm not going to get up because 
the way I'm situated and everything, but I kid you not. Toilet paper here is very thin. Toilet paper here is very thin. If you are used to doubling up, then you need to consider tripling or quadrupling up, right? The toilet paper is very thin. So she gives me these little strips and I'm like, I have the shits. What am I, what am I going to do with this toilet paper? Like, for real, like I, I can't do anything. I go into the stall. I go into the stall. There is a little remnant of uh, like, you know, the toilet paper roll on the back of the toilet, but it only had like just a, a little bit of squares on it. So I use that toilet paper to line the toilet. Let's talk about this toilet real quick. You know how in the United States, you have a toilet that has the toilet seat. And sometimes you lift the toilet seat up and you put the toilet seat down. Okay, that, 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 no, 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 hold on. Not that part, but the toilet seat, you actually sit on the toilet seat. These do not have toilet seats. You are literally sitting on the porcelain bowl thing. I have not sat on a porcelain bowl before because in the Cancun airport, we had toilet seats. And so we'll have toilet seats here. I know that they say that that's really like unsanitary so that they don't do that because it's dirty, it's nasty, you don't do that. And so it's literally, I'm lining the freaking porcelain rim and I'm hurrying up because I got the bubble guts. And so I sit on the toilet and I'm like, okay, so now that, because I used what was on the back of the toilet paper, the back of the toilet seat, um, I used all that to line. And this was a single layer of toilet paper because I knew that I had to like three strips, y'all, three strips. So with me having the shits, I also have three strips of toilet paper to wipe myself with. And I am sitting there like, what am I? Oh, you know what? I went to that man. And when I was talking to that man and I bought that Uncle Fresca, he gave me all these paper towels, but I did not have a need for the paper towels. But because I'm the person that I am, I didn't use the paper towels, but I grew up in my mama house. So I didn't throw the paper towels away. I put them in my little fanny pack. <laughs> so I'm pulling out all the paper towels, y'all. I'm pulling out all the paper towel, the paper towel napkins that I got from that man. And I'm like, okay, so this gives me a nicer amount to be able to wipe myself with. So yes, I was just like, oh my goodness. Y'all, I have used up all three strips of they toilet paper. I have used up my little napkins that I got from that man's shop. And okay, okay, I'm either gonna do one or two things. In the future, I'm either gonna pay people like 15, 20, 30, 30 pesos or something, like I need way more toilet paper than this, or I'm going to pack my own toilet paper. So guess what I did, guys? Y'all, I walk around, I have this bulge <laughs> because I have my fanny pack thingy thing that I wear. And it has my uh, it has my stuff in it, so I don't I don't carry a purse, and so it has my passport and and things like that in there. But it has a bulge because I have that much toilet paper on me, and uh, because I do sweat, and sometimes that the fanny pack thing is just like whatever, whatever. It's my my toilet paper is inside of a plastic bag because I'm not about to wipe with no soggy toilet paper. Like who does that? So yeah, I have I have toilet paper to be able to wipe and to be able to line the toilet. And you know what? Because I am that person, I think I should go put more toilet paper in there. And this this happened months ago. This happened over what six months seven, eight months ago, but yeah, I've been walking around with toilet paper, but I feel like I need to add some more. Does toilet paper like disintegrate? I just need to go check on it and add some more toilet paper to it while I'm telling you all this. But anyway, yes, be sure to have pesos on you and toilet paper because like, what if that lady was just like, no, I'm not going to give you more toilet paper for more pesos. Like, I don't know. She probably wouldn't say that, but I'm just saying three strips, y'all start packing your own toilet paper or something. So yes, learn from me pesos toilet paper okay i think that's all i wanted to say uh oh 
I'm probably going to put this in another video, but I know I've mentioned it before. You put your toilet paper in the trash can. So yeah, that's, that's the other thing when I'm like three small pieces of toilet paper and like, like I need to put this in a trash can as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. We, we're not going to get all into that because some of y'all might be squeamish. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or would have anything that you want to say, want me to talk about, whatever, put in the comment section, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will check with y'all later. Let me soak up some more of this fan. Actually, I'm just going to turn it up one after I stop this video. Chat with y'all later. Bye y'all.